Good morning everybody, hook on a copy coming at you. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fantastic. I hope you guys are doing great too. Well, we're down at the Grand River today. We are fishing for some walleyes. And well we as an eye fishing for some walleyes. And yeah, see if we can hit any, see if we can launch any. So let's go. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Take care. What I like to do with these uh, Cabela's pedal tails is take the head of this and just break it off, give it a low, more slim profile. And for some reason, the walleyes love it. And I have it on a pink jig. Yeah, it's okay. So, let's cast this out. I know it's deep out here. And see what we can hit. I know it's cloudy. And we might get into a few, I'm not sure. I know I should have came out earlier. But you never know. You might get one or two small ones to commit. They're not like what Matt and I had on the weekend. That was a total blowout for a movie. Not even gonna put that one up because actually I'll even put some of the stuff right now. Time he gets down, just gets hung up. All these weeds. I... And yeah, that's how bad it was. It was terrible. We couldn't even get our baits down for like 10 seconds without them being full of weeds. I'm just wondering if the walleye are still active because it's been cold for the last couple nights. It's been a bit chilly. I woke up this morning. In Brantford, Ontario, it was, I think, 8 or 10 degrees. So I should put him on a bite like there. But I think this might be a smallmouth. It's just kind of feeling like one. Or a pike. I don't know. It's not really... Oh, we got a little gator. We have a gator. And I don't even have a still eater on. <laughs> Look at this guy. Whoa. Net, 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 net. Net. You're stealing my bait. Look at that, guys. A little tiny gator. That pretty much has my hook down its throat. I'm gonna have to retie, anyways. Because I don't, I, I'm not the best at handling pike. I don't know why. Oh no! Oh! Hey. Good job. Oh crap. Just as I was getting the hook out, he clamped down and took my freaking bait. Sorry, buddy. I'll and I can feel all down here those nicks. So we're taking that out. And putting the excess fishing line in the bag. Fish another fish, guys. So, my little guy was hanging out there in the shallows. Probably looking for bait fish. Maybe using corral and bait fish, you never know. Gonna play with some lures, make sure that they want these ones. And not just snagging them up on all these rocks and stumps instead. So I'll give this one another couple casts. And then yeah. See what happens. Could possibly be sinking too fast. So you never know, I might have to switch up to maybe a one-eighth. 
Yeah, this water is cold. She's chilly. Okay. I'm gonna switch up to a different paddle tail. Wish us luck. It's getting deep. Stem on these rocks. Now, all I'm doing is tossing this out, let the current take it for a bit, tighten up my line. And as you can see, my rod tip is kind of bouncing. That means the lure's working. And all you got to do every now and then, give it a half turn or a whole turn if you want to try that. It actually looks like the bait fish is moving away or he's a predator and they will most likely hit it. This technique has actually caught me some decent fish. And you never know, could catch me something today. Cast that down, right into the current and just let her go. There we are. Sometimes give it a pop. And I got a fish. I got a good one. I don't know what it is. These won't be a pike. Is this thing rolling? Kind of feels like smallmouth, but I hope not. Hope it's like a good, good, good um, walleye. Loosen off my drag. It does feel like a smallmouth. That's how it's just going boom, 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 boom. Really hope it's a yeah, about a stinking smallmouth. I don't want this guy. Ugh. Wrong fish, wrong species. Sorry, guys. If you see down his mouth, hope you can. A whole bunch of like crayfish or something down in there. And that's how you know. When you ever catch a fish, always look down their throat, so always look down their mouth, because you never know what they're gonna be eating. And then when you look down, you can puzzle the you can put the puzzle pieces together, figure out what they're eating, and then match it. So let's try this again. Let's see if we can get ourselves a walleye. Not a bass. And if I get another bass, I am going to move spots. That one hit almost instantly. So, gonna stay perpendicular to the water because you don't want to be square to it because then you will have more resistance against you and you will fall in. You don't want that.
Well guys, this wraps up today's uh, adventure. Thanks for coming along. We got one pike, a little hammerhead, and one bass. No walleyes. I'm pretty sure I came out a bit too late today. And uh, they're already come and gone. And the water's a bit shallow. So, let's uh, wrap it up for now. And I'll probably come out tomorrow. Oh, probably come out tomorrow or the next day. And uh, yeah, have yourself a good day. Like, subscribe, and uh, enjoy, will ya? Thanks a lot.